everybody, Logan here for a new video. If you pay attention to Tesla's Cybertruck reveal, you would have noticed that they were just dogging on Ford every chance they got. They even went as far as doing a tug of war, which anyone who knows anything about trucks knows that, that means nothing. And it's all about really whoever loses traction first, or really who weighs the most in the rear. And the Cybertruck obviously weighs a lot more than the F-150, and that F-150 that they used, that was actually a just a base model, two-wheel drive, while the Cybertruck, that was an all-wheel drive. So it wasn't really an apples to apples comparison. Harrison. So in response, Ford X Vice President Sonny Madra, he actually tweeted out, hey Elon Musk, send us a Cybertruck and we will do the apples to apples test for you. Which Elon Musk, of course, he would love to have even more publicity about the Cybertruck, so he replied, you know, bring it on. Uh, then Ford, they said a few days later how it was just tongue in cheek. They said that Sonny's tweet was tongue in cheek, nothing more. Uh, with America's best selling truck for 42 years, we've always focused on serving our truck customers regardless of what others say or do. We look forward to our all new F-150 hybrid coming next year and all electric F-150 in a few years. So Ford, they're no longer doing the apples to apples comparison, but honestly, I would like to know if it was an evil, or if it was a level playing field, who would actually win? Because the F-150 obviously weighs far less than the Tesla Cybertruck. Now we don't know how much the Cybertruck weighs, but at very least, it's gonna weigh 5,500 pounds. At most, it could probably weigh upwards of 6,500 pounds. So we just don't know the weight of that yet. And by it pulling the F-150 uphill, uh, yeah, that helped the F-150 a little bit, but the weight that the F-150 had to overcome still wasn't enough. Now, ever since the Cybertruck reveal, people, they've been saying that this is the end of the F-150 and how the Cybertruck's going to take over as the, you know, best-selling truck, the best workload truck. I mean, the best hauling truck even, and it's not there yet. Or they already have their electric vehicles, like the F-150, that one that hauled like a million pounds. Now, granted, it was on a rail, but still, it was able to pull a million pounds behind it. So Tesla isn't necessarily going to overtake Ford as the best-selling truck. I'm curious to see what it can do, but we're not going to be able to see anything until like 2022, whenever the Cybertruck actually starts to get in people's hands. Now, don't get me wrong, the Cybertruck is a cool vehicle, but as far as over taking Ford F-150, it's just not there yet. And when it comes to the tug of war, I would have loved to see maybe an F-250 or an F-350 even, something that had similar weight to the Cybertruck in the, the tug of war, but we didn't see that. We saw a two-wheel drive F-150. And on top of that, the price. The F-150 they showed only cost $29,000, while the Cybertruck, I believe, was like $40,000. So it's not the same cost, not the same weight. So it really wasn't an apples to apples comparison. But we'll just have to wait and see whenever this truck comes out, what it can do, what it'll be able to take away for, from Ford as far as F-150 customers. But let me know what y'all think of the Cybertruck down in the comments. Like I think there's already been 200,000 pre-orders. Now that number is a little bit miscued because all you have to do to get a pre-order is put $200 down. So out of the 200,000 people that have pre-ordered it, they're saying that maybe 100,000 will actually pick it up. But guys, I really do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it, please subscribe. And as always, have a great day.